there are other treatments also that have uh, kind of fallen out of use or are being reevaluated. Uh, another example involves a treatment which was actually initially developed at CHR, the concept of tubal catheterizations. Um, we many, many years ago, over, over 20 years ago, <clears throat> we were the center that invented the concept of passing catheters into fallopian tubes uh, to reopen them if they were occluded. And I personally did hundreds, if not thousands, of such cases under X-ray control, not in the operating room. And we still are doing them sometimes. But that was a very effective treatment in the days when pregnancy rates with IVF were in the low single digits. As pregnancy rates in IVF greatly improved, suddenly the, the cost-effective calculation, the cost-effectiveness calculation between doing this kind of a, a, a relatively minor invasive but still invasive procedure and taking the patient into IVF in terms of pregnancy chances cost switched. And so as we used to do these procedures routinely, now they are the exceptions. We will still do it if it's a young woman who has time or has other reasons to, to go through a catheterization. But in general, our old approach of taking everybody first to catheterization if she has clock two, and only if that doesn't work, take her into IVF, has kind of faded away.